pushing and pulling are pretty simple concepts, and they're pretty simple in the DevOps world as well, but they're very, very important because different tools work different ways, and there are use cases for when a push or a pull makes more sense. Now, first of all, what do I mean by push versus pull? Well, let's say we have, uh, let's say a configuration management server up here. All right, now we have two identical workers here, and we want them to have their computer interact with the configuration management server. Now, in a push system, what happens is the server knows all of its clients on the local network, and it periodically pushes changes to the computer itself. The computer is just sitting there waiting, and all of a sudden the server says, okay, it's time to push something. That time could be dictated by like a periodic timer, like CronTab, it could be there's a change that needs to be made, so I'm gonna push the change out to everybody. The other way to go about it is a pull idea. So what, what happens here is the server just sits here idle and just waits for a connection. And so this computer says, you know what? I wanna check to see if there are any updates for me. And so it will send a request to the server. And then once that is sent, the server says, okay, let me send you the stuff. And then it sends it down to the client, but it isn't initiated unless that client initially requests it. It pulls the data from the server to itself. Whereas in the push scenario, the server just says, I have this stuff and it pushes it out to the client. So those are the two different ways that data and configurations can be sent or received from the client. But the use cases make a lot of sense if you think about different kinds of computers. So let's say we have a lab or a bunch of cubicles or something, and these are stationary computers. They're gonna sit here, they're not going home. They're usually turned on during the day, hardwired to the network. In this case, a push makes the most sense because one, there's all these computers, so the server can push to this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. It's not like they're all gonna be requesting stuff at the same time. The server can push when it's idle or you know in order just so it doesn't tax its own resources. But since they're always here, a push scenario works. But over in this scenario, this guy has a laptop. He's not always here. He's not always on the network. Sometimes he works remotely. Sometimes he's in the office. So it doesn't make sense for the server to try to push because he's not going to be there all the time. And the server would try to push and it'd be like, well, he's not even here. I can't send him any data. Whereas in a poll technology, when you log into the network, the computer can say, oh, I'm on the network with my server. Now I'm going to send that request so then the server can update me. So a poll makes a lot more sense if it's a mobile PC that's not always there or if it's not always online. If it's something that's turned off a lot of times, you can have a poll scenario that's going to make a lot more sense and it's going to get the data more efficiently. Sometimes neither technology is perfect, though. And in that case, I've actually set up a few times manually a push the poll or push a poll technology which is basically if a computer that's set up in a pull type scenario where the laptop comes in and it tries to pull stuff, but it doesn't do it often or all the time or immediately when it logs in, the server, if it notices that the laptop hasn't logged in in a while, it will hammer waiting for that thing to come online. And as soon as the laptop comes online, it SSHs into it triggers the pull and then the laptop pulls. So, uh, you know, there's some ways you can get around it if neither scenario works really well, but understanding the advantages and disadvantages of both really helps when you're planning out your configuration management or your backup system, whatever you're trying to push or pull, it helps to think about what's going on and what's gonna be the most effective. So in general, you know, pushing to desktop machines that are always on and always on the network makes sense and pulling from laptops or things that are mobile or not always there. Those are good general rules, but you have to think through every scenario to see what's going to make the most sense for your particular environment. And sometimes it's going to be a combination of push and pull. And that's part of DevOps. It makes it fun. You get to programmatically fix problems that you wouldn't be able to do in the past.